everything in life is a process you guys and i mean everything oh my goodness from the moment that we are born and we come out of our mama's womb where it's nice and warm all the way till we die and we end up in that last room and we pass away and we die and in between it's a process you guys and how we process that fact that reality will determine how we will live our lives you guys life is hard yes it is life is very hard but we got to live hard die hard be hard now, that doesn't mean be rude and be crude and 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 think that we're better than nobody no we're all equal there's no one more no one less but it means being focused and disciplined loving ourselves so much that we can be disciplined to be able to adapt be patient and learn through the process what we're supposed to learn you guys Oh, most definitely, yes. I believe that once that we were sent here on a mission, and we are star seeds, children of light, children of the Most High. And the moment that we came out of our mama's womb, the trade-off was forgetting that we are great, that we are geniuses, that we are brilliant. And during the whole process, from when we come out of our mom's room and womb and we're living, we're supposed to remember who we are and why we're here. So let's try to wake up as many people that we can who want to be awakened and who don't. Well, hey, let's pray for them, right? But let's gather ourselves and place ourselves around people that are like-minded. And let's create ideas. Because when great people come together, there's great ideas being shared. And then there's innovations. And then there's uh, inventions. There's foundations being built. First, with the foundation of God. And then we can build many foundations to help single mothers, single fathers, our brothers and sisters dealing with drugs and alcohol, the veterans of the military, I'm a vet. We can build orphanages. We can help people that are, that are homeless. We can do so much stuff, you guys, by realizing that everything in life is a process and it's a beautiful one, you guys. And once again, our perception, how we process everything that we go through is very important. We could say like, oh, life is not fair. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's not fair. Or we, we can say, uh, why me? Well, why not me? Who, who else do I want it to happen to? Why not you or me? Why not? Because if it's happened to me, that means I can conquer this because God is with me. Uh, or we can say, well, I can't. No, wrong. I can do anything that I set my mind to for whatever idea I believe and conceive I will achieve because God is with me, you guys. Oh, man. So here we go, you guys. I was fortunate to go see uh, Mad Max, the saga, the latest one, and I went with Purple Butterfly, and it was a great movie, uh, two thumbs up, go check it out, and it gives an idea of how the future could be, and if we're not careful, it could be that way, you guys, and after we were done, we stopped by McDonald's, and uh, to, you know, just have some coffee, and just to, to chill out and relax, and as we walked in, you guys, and I'm talking about the process, right, as I walked in, uh, there's a sign that says, let's go virtual or something like that. Let's use a kiosk or something like that. So, all right, let's, let's not complain. Let's make an adjustment and let's create a solution. So we went up and used that huge iPad right there, right? And it's like a, a way to order food. And we were almost done, but we couldn't wrap our head around it. So I went to the cashier area and lo and behold, Lucas popped out. I got to meet Lucas. What's up, champ? What's up, superstar? How you doing? And he was like, hey, how can I help you? Man, he was bringing high energy, great service, nothing but love. And he was shining so bright that I was like, yeah, what's up, brother? Hey, can you help me? He's like, sure, let me, let me see what we can do. Man, he walked over to us where we were at the kiosk while running the drive through Multitasking, amazing. Good job, champ. We are very proud of you. That's what I'm talking about. Next level, champ, next level. When anyways, he helped us out, boom, boom, boom. And then he went away and we were almost, and then we continued and we were almost done. And oh, I still needed his help. I went back. He didn't complain. He's like, sure. And you know what? If I didn't work here, I probably wouldn't be able to know how to use it. But you know what? Let's work together. And that's what it's all, all about, you guys. Teamwork. Together. We can make the dream work. One team, one dream. That's right. Team Light. We're on a crusade. Oh, man help as many people that we can along the way and on the path and along the process and during this life you guys okay so i wanted to give a huge shout out to lucas thank you so much but that was a prime example of learning through the process of how to grow of how to figure out what we got to figure out no matter what now that's something simple but if we apply that simple technique with everything that comes away we can create solutions Oh, yes, we can, because don't forget, when God created you, he created, 
He placed the seed of greatness inside of you. All we gotta do is water it every day, water it every day, and 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 just be patient. And trust the process. Fall in love with the process. Because when we do, then we figure out what our purpose is. And once we figure out our purpose is, then we can share our gift with the world, you guys. Okay. Now, once again, everything in life is a process. There's this baseball player, famous baseball player, Reggie Jackson. He has the record for the most home runs hit. Okay. But guess what? He might have the most home runs that he hit, but he also struck out more times than anybody else. He struck out more times than anybody else, but he has he hit the most home runs. If he would have stopped through the process of when he was striking out and striking out, striking out, said, No, oh, I'm stuck, I'm no good, no way, and just stay angry, he would he would not have the record for hitting the most home runs. But no, he went through the process so he can achieve his greatness, leave a legacy, and leave his last name as his brand, as his logo, to the world as I am the greatest. And he's a humble person. He's a beautiful person. And that's what his purpose was on this world. So let's use whatever comes our way. Let's adapt to it through the ups and the downs and the ups and the downs to figure out how to do this because we have a beautiful mind. And it's all in our mindset and how we perceive everything. And our perception will always drive our performance. But once we're being guided by God, we can drive to the maximum performance in anything that we do. And it takes time. It takes persistence, patience. And uh, we can get it done. So let's go ahead and do that, you guys. Now remember, they're shutting down a lot of companies. The traditional system is broke. Actually, the tradition. The traditional system was set up for us to be corporate slaves, right? They used to, slaves back in the day, they used to be slaves and they were, they were given uh, food and lodging. Now, corporate slave, corporate America, uh, we're being corporate slaves. Now they give us the, the money so we can buy the food and the housing. But it's still not working, right? So if you're tired of that process and you want to try something new, reach out to me. What do we do? We right or wrong. We make sure families aren't being taken advantage of. I sit down with families and I educate on how to manage their money. I help them get out of debt. Okay, I help them with their finances, all aspects of their finances. And if you're interested, I could show you how one hour here, one hour there, one hour here, one hour there, earn an extra $500 an hour. And I could show you how to get out of debt, then start saving for your own future and uh, being a go-to person in your family. And then we can start developing your purpose, your gift, and share it with the world. And then together, we can build many foundations to help single mothers once again, build orphanages, help the little ones, mentor the little ones, help the older generations that are getting older, be there for them, and, and be, be grateful. And not let our ancestors who sacrificed their lives for us to be here today, this very moment. And how does that start, you guys? By enjoying every moment of the process in this life because everything in life is a process you guys and we're here today we're gone today and what we do today does matter so every day let's wake up and let's unwrap that bad boy called the gift of life and live in the present moment of now no opportunities wasted and let's seize every opportunity to grow to glow to shine and to share with others and show others how to live life. And even to the simple things as saying a simple hello. How are you? How you been? What's going on? So once again, how have you been? I hope all is well. Be well with you. And blessings to you and your family. And don't forget how important you are. Oh, yes, you are. And every day you step out of your house, I pray that you make it back home safe to be with your loved ones. And when you do, hug them and share that love with them, you guys. With that being said, I say nothing but great vibes, peace and love your way, no riff raps, and uh, let's get it done, you guys. Let's rock and roll. Praise one, love one, God only. Polo go checking out. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, champs. Let's go, champs. Let's go be amazing, champs.